Hello everyone, welcome back to Plumber Parts. My name's James. Today I'm going to be answering some of your comments from the last few videos that we've done. So I'm going to be addressing your comments from the last comments video. How about that? Plumbing Disasters episode 47. Oh my God. Amazing copper pipe cleaner for soldering. And also our latest video, how to fix a toilet that is not flushing. So if you haven't checked out those videos, I'll leave links to them below. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and hit the notification and the bell, because YouTube is not telling people when we're uploading videos at the moment. So without further ado, let's get on with the latest Ask the Plumber video from yours truly, Plumber Pats. Meow. Also, George and I would like to tell you that ITS now have flash deals and not in the way that I got in trouble for a couple of years ago. These flash deals are available every Friday. There's absolutely loads of stuff for you to go and get, loads of stuff for you to save money on. George isn't actually all that impressed with ITS at the moment because they don't sell catnip. Do they, mate? Oh, he's old now, this old boy, isn't he? 16. Oh, my poor little wabs. And yeah, meow. But you did like the truck, didn't you, George? You remember me chasing you around with the truck? You can still get a lovely remote controlled truck for you to give away to your kids or play with yourself like I do. Just use the Plumber Parts truck code when you spend over £100 excluding VAT. I've left a link to the flash deals below as well. Um, just want to scrub the cat in the wabbly belly at the moment. Do you want a little scrub in the belly? Yeah, you do. Look how happy this beast is. Remember the standard ITS service. You'll get next day delivery if you order before 7 p.m. the day before. There's also the ITS price promise. They refuse to be beaten on price by either Screwfix or Toolstation. When will they start doing pets at home, George? And there's over 18,000 five-star Trustpilot reviews as well. So they can be trusted, unlike me, with the cat and the kitchen door. Hey, mate. But you're all right, ain't ya? Anyway, let's get on with the video, guys, and have a look at some of your comments from the last few weeks of Plumber Parts videos. This was Plumbing Advice Comments, episode six, and it was all about my wet vac. Charlie Willis said, nice vid, James. The fire service have just named their new fire engine after you. They said your antics with the blowtorch helped pay for most of it and said, keep up the good work. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> they must have watched the blowtorch video from a couple of weeks ago as well. Paul Henry 85 said, any tips for repairing a leak on a boss strap that has been solvent welded on? I actually didn't reply to that, but I'm going to give you a little bit of love now. There you go, mate. Uh, Charlie Willis, yet again, came back and replied, yes, James said, change your phone number, tip of the week from the master. Tell you what, mate, you're not wrong. YTXFNN plays said, I like your videos. I'm 13. I want to be a plumber when I'm older. I watch a lot of your videos. Good stuff. We got like five hearts. Look, I'll give you a little six likes and a heart there. This is Charlie Willis again. He said you will learn a lot of bodging from James. He's the best in his field. Thanks, Charlie. I love you too. Sean Tracy said hello from Ireland. Hello. And a Sniffling Smithster said hello, James. Is that hello as well? And then Brian McConnell said not good. There you go. Another comment from the YouTube algorithm. Unsubscribed. Meh. Right, and now we move on to the comments of a video that I know you guys absolutely love to see. Plumbing disasters. I've been doing them for absolutely years, but we're rechecking that all out now. So we've got Plumbing Disasters 47 here. Remember, you can send us your plumbing disasters over on our Twitter, our Instagram, Facebook. Just hashtag Plumbing Disasters and also tag at Plumber Parts as well and follow us. That'd be sexy, wouldn't it? Oh, look at all those lovely T-shirts there. Oh. I wonder which one, you know, which one would I get? I really like this one here. That t-shirt is so nice. But today, the one I'm wearing today is this one here. This one I've got on today. Sexy, isn't it? Beautiful. Paul Thomas said, that's what I used to tell the customer before I do plumbing job or plumbering job. Fill the kettle and the plastic bottles. Exactly, mate. He's referring to the t-shirts that we've got that say, um, before I turn the water up, before I turn the water off, you better fill the kettle up. All right, Rotty, and I had no idea that Rottweilers could spell. I mean, let alone use a keyboard. He went, a very entertaining video. Thank you, and well done for being so open about your old smoking habit. I got totally done for this. Uh, it doesn't make you a bad person. Hopefully it will be legal here soon. <laughs> like in parts of the US, so many of us can relax and enjoy a smoke or some cakes with our coffee sometime soon. Rotty, I know that you're a canine, but you know, I'm not endorsing the taking of any drugs whatsoever. That's the end of the chat. 
Gary Rhodes, who I actually thought died last year, top, top celebrity chef, a lot of respect for Gary Rhodes. Uh, maybe this is just his, uh, someone with the same name as him, you never know. Uh, he says, I've got a pinhole leak on a 15 millimeter pipe. That comes from my loft tank and goes into the boiler. It's always cold. Do you have to turn the mains off to repair it? Any help would be much appreciated. Thanks, Gary. So I'm just gonna give you a little heart there. And Mark came in and said, very helpfully, check the tank in the tank to see if there's an isolation valve in the outlet. Otherwise, you'll need to turn off the mains and drain the tank by opening a tap. There we go, well done, mate. Mark, cheers, man. <laughs> do you wanna come and do this for us? Uh, it's Gary Rhodes said, thanks for the reply, mate. Can't see ice and valve, uh, valve. So I just turned the mains off and opened the cold and hot water taps. Exactly, mate, exactly that. Mark W, you're gonna get a little bit of a love there. You know what? I might say, do you want a plumber sticker? Do you want a plumber sticker? Bruv. Maybe send him one out, see if he, see if he gets one. Alukwad Pabwad Clown World, who has commented on a few of our videos before, said, I saw 110 millimetre pipe soil going perfectly horizontal for like 12 metres, propped up with bricks since it was trying to be perfectly downpiping the wrong way. Okay, uh, it shouldn't obviously be propped up with bricks, but unless it was temporary, and also it doesn't want to be completely horizontal, as we all know, because the poo will not get washed away if that is what happens, all right? Now, Max in this comment here is referring to the kebab chat that me and Harry had a few days ago. Harry is not currently here. Uh, anyway, so says Max says here, my favorite kebab is the lamb kebab, because Mary, because Mary had a little lamb and now it's in my kebab. Ashvan Bro said, another great video, mate. No worries, Ashvan. When are you going to join the Al Army, man? No Code, who is an electrician, so really shouldn't be here, said, hey, best one I've ever seen. I'm a spark. It was a cover of a three-phase board in a restaurant which had a leak above it. So to save the water entering the board, the staff and the infinite wisdom covered the front of the three-phase board in tin foil. O-M-F-G. Mate, I once got called to a place. We, I used to do a lot of maintenance work in offices and places like that, big offices. And obviously they've all got three phase. So I've got two three phase stories here for you. Um, one of them was this office we went to, a rat, and it was massive. It decided to chomp through the external three phase, like black insulation, and then obviously made its inevitable way down to one of the three phase wires and, you know, basically caught fire. The old rat did. Uh, they love eating, I think it's chalk, isn't it? Is it? And the insulation of the wire, that you've got chalk in there, which is, why rats? Please tell me why. The other is, I was working at a old nuclear bunker that was then used as a plant room. And I went in there and they had a thing called a Sangamo time clock. And they're kind of like a round mechanical time clock that we'd often use for things like outside lighting and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, there were these wires just sticking out and I thought, that's a bit weird. Do I touch them? And obviously I didn't, did I? Because I'm here right now. Uh, I tested them and they were 400, they were 415 volt, three phase live, and that would have been good night, Irene. Max has come back and said, Harry has never had a kebab. What the hell is wrong with people, you're, with you're, the people you're hiring, Jimmy boy? Don't be so harsh on Harry. Uh, go and grab that man and drag him to your best kebab shop and blow his mind if the madness of the world hasn't killed it. I know, mate, it's crazy at the moment. Yeah, when Harry gets back from Spain, I'm going to take him to uh, our local kebab van and they do lamb shish, which, as I said, is my favourite because they actually have proper chunks of lamb and they go all like crispy on the outside but rare on the inside and it's absolutely lovely. And then I have all the sauce. I have, I have the garlic sauce. I have loads of the chilli sauce. I have the whole goddamn hog. I have the whole hog. I like Bill Palmer, and he's referring to the last video on that plumbing disasters video, with the boiler that was full of water, says, that's nothing, I've had one full of bees. Paul N said, 149th, go me. Well, I wonder where you come in this one's video, Paul. Comment below and we'll see. Peter Ryan said, I must be really old at 173, love your videos, but wish you had issued a warning about smoking pot. Oh my God, it's just not clever. Sorry, it has to be said by someone. Kids watch these and one day it might be your kids. I feel, I pity the children that watch these videos. So sorry, Peter, next time I'll issue a warning. And now we've got amazing copper pipe cleaner for soldering, plumbing tools of the trade, which was a video I did last week about a special pipe cleaner, as you can see here. Um, got quite a lot of uh, chit chat on this one, 85 comments actually, blimey. Um, so let's just get started. Let's just have a look and see what we've got. Um, Peter Waterfield said, they look as though they need to be deeper. And he's got eight likes for that. Well done, Peter. 
Nice to see that people are all interacting with each other as well. Almost like it's the ale army and you know each other. They look as they need to be deeper. Basically, mate, they, they, they probably could be a little bit deeper. You know, I'm not going to deny that. But they're deep enough to do most standard 22 and 15 mil fittings for soldering. So it should be completely fine. But, you know, grab one, give it a try. We've got to go over to our Instagram to select the winner of that particular competition. So I'll be doing that in a minute's time. Gix's 750 pilot, who is a member of the AL Army, and you can see that there because he's got the drip and the two spanners next to him, which means I think he's about a four or five month member now, or even a six month member. He said, I thought Jimbo's lost it. He's cleaning up a bit of JG Speedfit pipe. Dan Kitney said, great bits of kit. I've been using the spark plug thread cleaner for years, DIY but it's manual, but does the same job. Great vid as usual. No worries, mate, it's good to hear. Tukes1 said, worked awesome at first, didn't last very long though, before the cleaning wire bristles inside fell out of mine. Now you can actually buy replacement bristles for these. What happens is you grab the um, spikes with a set of uh, long nose pliers and you should just be able to take them out. It's a fiddly old job, don't get me wrong, but you can change them over eventually. And also if you wanted to, you could take the old ones out and give them a bit of clean, I guess. But Sam Rick said, I saw this on another video recently and was curious and where to get it and obviously I'll put the eBay link in for that um, they're 40 quid so you know not to be sniffed at but like I said in the video well worth giving it a try to make sure that you get nice proper run solders Jamie Garcia said mate that's amazing I've just said goodbye to Grace Knuckles happy days ahead Lee Rolf said great invention but seen a lot of mixed re reviews on some plumbing groups a lot say they fall apart and the seller seems to not offer much in the way of customer service which is a bit of a shame uh, and i've spoke to him on instagram quite a bit and he you know i think maybe that's the best way to get hold of him but yeah 40 pound on a set is a fair is fair but needs a bit of customer service and at least a couple of months of heavy pro use the last review of the fellow on ebay is kind of what i've heard yeah i mean i went on ebay and checked this out in fact i've replied on here so let's have another little gander uh big boss said same here it's a flawed design because once the bushes wear out it becomes useless I've already said about you can buy the uh, replacement bushes. Um, I said, let's hope he sees your comments here. I've only had a chat with him on Instagram about six months ago. And then and then basically he said you can get the internal changeovers. And Big Boss said, the question is, how do you replace the internals? It looks like it's one solid cylinder. And then Ghostman Romeo Ray, UK, uh, said, mine went knackered quite quick. Good news is you can buy a replacement abrasive from Amazon and remove it from a cheaper pipe cleaning deburring tool. Just remove the worn out abrasive with a pair of long nose pliers and cut the new ones the exact same size. It's not too difficult to put them in. Mate, that is so good that you've you've sort of spotted that along the way. The next comment I absolutely loved. It's dude was like QVC vibes. Good, look like a good piece of kit. Tony Clark said, you can use them in forward and reverse. It should even the wear. The wrong wear, but English is hard. Stephen Rowan said, I've seen them on two YouTube videos, but still haven't a clue where I can purchase them from and the price. The link's in that video description, young man, and they're 40 quid. It's the eBay link. Josh Brooks said, would love to know if it will work on Chrome. Filing it off drives me mad. That is a good shout, man. I should do a test on that. Um, swage it, the inside is not chrome plated. Okay, yeah, good good points, Loaf of Sheffield, who's a long time fan. Good point, I'm gonna give you a couple of little likey boos there. Stephen Jones said, why has no one thought of these pipe cleaners before? And the angle attachment is just genius. Cheers, mate. Great video, we'll definitely be getting a set. Rory said, it looks like a great piece of kit, but how well does it work on chrome pipe? Looks good though. Mate, chrome looks nice, it's just a pain in the bum for plumbers. Sam Russell came up with a really good shout here. Said, James, you can get key ring bit holders, lock them bad boys in and hang them off your tool bag. <laughs> Such a good idea. They're on order now and I've also added them to the Amazon store as well. Sam, thanks ever so much for that, that mate. Chris, smiley face on the side, McDermott said, James, game changer, mate. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. No worries, man. Pleased to do it. Antonio Galluccio said, do they remove chrome pipe from chrome pipe, blah, blah, blah. Do they move? Ah. Henry King also said about the hex shank bit holders on Amazon. Definitely going to be getting some of those, dude. Barry Lowe commented, said, well, James, when are we going to see your bathroom refurb completed? Yeah, I know, mate. We did five videos on that, haven't we, so far in the bathroom refurb? And I have done nothing to the bathroom since then. Uh, Emily is going mental. 
uh, but I'm just so busy getting loads of work done, loads of videos done, having a bit of fun as well for once. Uh, but we will be going back into the bathroom soon, so if you haven't hit the subscribe button or you haven't checked out the bathroom series so far, I'll leave a link to the bathroom playlist in the description as well, and you can go and check those out. But I will be doing part six soon, which is going to be cutting in 22 mil valves onto downpipe. HVACR World said, why do I feel like these will be a flash in the pan tool? Only time will tell. Only time will tell, man. We'll see. Frankie F said, it was nice to see a flashback video. I used to love watching those early ones. At 40 quid, I'm happy with the Sean Connery method. Nigel Bennett came in and said to him, old painted pipe may contain lead and you're vaporizing it because you're obviously alluding to the fact that the old method is to burn it away don't know why that's called the sean connery method though am i being really stupid here maybe comment and frankie technique replied and this is nice he said either technique puts particles in the air but a good point there you go chris gunn who's an ale army member said great product from an independent would like them to be about five to ten mil deeper to get you away from the nasty crusty paint but all said and done, what a great tool. And then he used some of our special emojis, Fit Pipes, AL Army, and Big G. Viewer 617 said, eBay review speaks volumes, basically it falls apart quickly. Now this is weird, right? Because I went and checked out the reviews. I've just had a look and there's no, there's only one bad review, but maybe I'm not seeing them all. This is the thing. I went onto Amazon, I think there were nine reviews, one of them was bad, the rest were five stars. And then Ben Pacey came through and said, you're welcome for the recommendation, because it was Ben who actually said to me, You've got to check these tools out. So well done, Ben, thanks for that. If you want a plumber sticker, let me know. Yen Sabi said, they tend to clog up when cleaning paint off the pipe and then they don't work very good. The guy needs to come up with some type of cleaning jig that you can just run through to get rid of it. I'll tell you now what the cleaning jig is. Fill it up with WD-40. There you go, just spray it so it gets filled up with WD-40 and then either get your wet back on it if you want it to smell forever or just like tap all the WD-40 out and then after that, once it's all dried off and everything, it'll work just normally again. Finally, Mark Pearson said, why MCA? And the reason he said that is because of my steps because they're made by a young man and I've wrote on the side of them and he noticed. I can't believe the stuff you guys notice in videos. Anyway, thanks for your comments on that video, guys. Let's move on to the final comments video that we're going to be talking about, and that is how to get a toilet flush working for a toilet that is not flushing. Let's go. Nice little job that I did last week for a friend of mine whose toilet wasn't flushing. There we go. So let's get on and have a look at some of the comments here. First, we got Fran. She said, James, I'm so sorry for not watching your videos of late. I've gone to the dark side and wanted an electrician apprenticeship at 42 years old. But well done, Fran, for going out and doing that. No joke, found an old boy willing to take me through. Apparently water and electricity does not mix. When I pointed out hydroelectric power, I got sacked. <laughs> damned if you do and damned if you don't. Ah oh, well, Fran, I don't know if you're talking complete poo there about whether you're now an electrician or not, but thanks ever so much for coming back and watching the videos as well, and I'm glad that you still enjoy them. Now, if you do become an electrician, don't worry, that's not the dark side, it's just slightly naffer, all right? <laughs> Paul Bembridge said, why am I even watching this? I've been fixing broken carsies for the last 30 years. I just wish most of mine came apart that easily. Oh, mate, I was so lucky there, wasn't I? I've been there many times, man, don't you worry. Uh, the bolts and the screws on most of my jobs are usually so corroded, it's either a hacksaw blade with a cloth wrapped around it, a grinding disc on a Dremel drill, or a whole new toilet. Exactly. Big Boss there, referring to my injunction joke about being naked on site. <laughs> Michael Tucker said, I had this exact problem about six weeks ago. Managed to get it sorted watching some of your older videos. There we go. Only problem I ran into was the system was quite full, so a new siphon unit didn't fit ended up getting a Fluid Master one that was much slimmer. Thanks for your videos. There you go, mate, no worries. Simon Clark said, if a toilet has an external overflow, do you recommend blanking it off and using a modern siphon unit with a built-in overflow? Yes, I do. They're just better. Just a little bit runs into the toilet then, you're like, hold on, we've got a problem here, we've got to better sort it out. Robin Hood, who's now turned into a cocker spaniel by the looks of it, uh, no longer stealing from the poor, and stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. Uh, this channel is amazing, said Andy. Thank you. I just need the same for electric so I can see what they mean when they explain certain aspects. No worries, Andy. Lycopotamus Slurperton said, great not to have to uh, have an overflow to reconnect anymore. Great. Joe Bruder now, long time supporter of the beast, said, nice one, Jimmy, but seriously, they've painted their tiles. Nick Collins said, yes, James is flush with success. <laughs> Sorry. 
Simon Matthews Guitar said, you did this job in the week, literally took three hours to get those corroded system bolts off, mate. I feel your pain. We got three comments in there as well. Uh, this is from Antonio Galluccio. He's back again. He said, use a lot of WD-40 or whatever lubricant anti-corrosion that will eat the rust for you. Uh, but Simon said, I did. It still took me a long time. I used a hacksaw in the end, which I wish I'd thought of before. Uh, and that guy said, use a multi tool with a metal cutting blade, makes things so much easier. Yeah, he's, he's right there as well. Kofi Banan, obviously not from Kofi, not Kofi Annan, the uh, ex UN uh, president, he said, I think the goal with that red pump is to pump once and then let the siphon action do the rest of the work. You can't, oh, you know what? That's not a bad call, actually. There's a little valve on top that needs to be closed for that to happen. Oh, no, I did shut that. And it, yeah, maybe it isn't quite that. Um, the thing is, for a siphon to work, you need to be siphoning to a point lower than the point that you're pumping from, otherwise it won't work. So, but I'll give it a try, we'll see if that works. Imti Azmir said, takes five seconds to empty with a wet vac. Yeah, true mate, but I thought I'd just show a few different ways of doing it. Tom McDonald said, what happened to your bathroom change at home? I think you got to the end of the first fix then, sweet FA. Don't worry Tom, episode six is coming soon. Believe me, if I don't do episode six, I will be well, I think I'm going to have a, I think my wife's going to divorce me. There's no floor in the bathroom yet, <laughs> so she's not happy. So don't worry, I'll be getting on with it soon, all right? And as I said, the playlist for the current ones is above in the description. Carl Harris has got a little bit of a story for us. He said, I had a leak with a sister, with a raised cistern. Thought it would be a nice, easy job. Don't we all? We drive there, don't you? And you're like, oh, I can't wait. It'd be a nice, easy job. <laughs> Um, arrived and the system was hanging off the wall because the screws had rusted out. No isolation to the water supply, just to the toilet. Had to turn off the whole house and fit one. But the supply pipe was behind the back of the kitchen base unit. <laughs> Disconnected everything and the pan wobbled. Screws had rusted on that as well because of a slow leak of the pan connector that had been silicon to hell. Oh my God. Um, after a lot of cleaning and a heater in the room for a few hours, I could put the thing back together with a new fill valve. It was old and everything else was being replaced. And the new flush valve was built in, had a new built-in overflow and a new pan, pan connector. Porcelain was the only original thing there. Well, sounds like a job well done, Carl. Uh, well done for persevering with it as well, mate. Good stuff. Antonio Galluccio said, Hi James, have you also got a sort of pump with a hose that can fit 50 mil pipe and suck some water from the central heating system? Mate, these pumps do it. Um, I've done it before. Guys, and if you want to get that pump, the little red pump he's on about that I used in that video, uh, you'll find that in our Amazon store, links to that above as well. Uh, but he did say, he said, it happened to me that the drain off valve was not in the lowest point of the system and I had to install a towel rail and connect it to pipes that were very low in the wall and couldn't solder the return one because of the dripping water, not even with bread. Somebody suggested a vacuum cleaner for water. Any ideas I could get from you from your Amazon store? Mate, definitely, definitely those wolf things can do that. I, I use them all the time to quickly drain systems down because sometimes if you've got a gravity system, they're just trickling out a little bit, get that pump on there and basically get a set of mole grips or a bit of gaffer tape, close the trigger on your drill and just leaving it laying outside. It'll pump out in seconds. Seriously, it's a great way of doing it. Then we've got Cirrus. He is new to the Al Army. You can tell because he's got a little spanner next to his name. Um, close couples can be the best or the worst thing ever. Praise be plastic wing nuts on rusted bolts. Sad the plumber be with rusted plate bolts and nuts. <laughs> Stainless be the way. Through bolts make ye thread with trepidation. Of the three nuts, ye shall choose one or, or forever. <laughs> what the hell? Of the three donuts, ye shall choose one or forever. Leak thine blue syrup. <laughs> uh, ye may lead to temptation of the silicon with no contemplation of the dome donut flip. Ubi warned. Halloween soon, James. <laughs> All right, Cirrus, keep taking the pills, man. And then David Cunningham Silman went, not one of your best. And then slightly un unhappy face. Um, and then someone said, what else did you hope to see? It's a toilet repair. Well, sorry, David. I'll try and do better next time, mate. But you know, I'm only human. Anyway, thanks ever so much, guys, for not only watching those videos, but for also commenting on them. Continue to comment on the videos, please. Continue to hit, hit, to hit the likes. And also to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. I will see you in the next Plumber Parts video. Until then, Remember to hold tight and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Ciao, Bella. Hold that. Right then, girls, sorry to report that I've just tried the uh, the beast on the chromium pipe and it doesn't remove it. I'm not really surprised because 
chromium is rock hard stuff. Uh, but it would have been nice if it did do it, but you know, it's still got its uses for cleaning up. What a plan, right? Also, heartiest congratulations to the winner of our Instagram competition, Joe Cave1993. He said, I think I should win one of these because I have a whole hotel of radiator changes with painted pipe work coming up. Joe, I'll get hold of you, mate, and I'll get some of these beasts sent out to you. Well done, bruv.